victory. Thought our guys uh, played really hard. Um, thought everybody was, you know, ready to go. You never really know for sure. We we had a good week of practice. Um, people kept saying, "How would the guys rebound from that game?" And I, I really, if you went strictly by practice, you'd say it looks like a normal week. You wouldn't you wouldn't watch it and say the guys were in the tank or anything like that. I thought we had a good week. But until you play the game, you really don't know. And um, we came out on fire and uh, just played well. Really proud of everybody. So I'll open it up. Did you want to ask about Murray Pryor? Have you gotten an update on him? Uh, Murray, uh, there's no update other than he went to the hospital to get an MRI on his knee. I'm not even sure which knee it was. I forgot. But uh, we'll find out more later. Does that mean tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning? Um, I don't know. There may be something before the night's over, but I don't know. I don't know right now. Is that pretty standard, Mark, in those situations? Is that pretty standard to go the MRI route with the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do, we x-ray certain things, and when you get to knees, um, knees are knees are more MRI. You just don't know what's going on in there until you take a look. Yeah, he just didn't want to leave. He didn't want to get out, and that's why you just didn't know uh, how severe it was. You knew something was going on, and he had, uh, I think, a week ago, his back got hurt a little bit, you know, and we we thought that that's what it was. And as it turned out, it was his knee. And then we had already made the sub. We were going with Hudson, and then and, uh, and Murray was on the bike and everything. And and I said, anybody tell Murray yet? You know, so I'm going to tell Murray that you're out, and he just was uh, adamant that he wanted to play, that, that he was fine. And then, so I said, get on the headset and convince your coach, you know. And uh, so he got on the phone to Mike. And then, um, you know, Mike's like, I better see you running around on the sideline before I put you back in there. And he convinced him that he could go back in and play. And, and so he did. But as it went on, it, it, it was pretty evident that uh, he, he wasn't safe to be out there. Coach, how impressed were you with uh, Hudson just stepping in tonight? Hudson did a nice job. Um, I've been saying it a lot, but you know Hudson's been ready to play um, at Georgia here for a couple years now, and um, obviously last year we redshirted him so he couldn't play, and and this year there's so many close games we thought we could have played him more by by now um, this season, but every game was so close it was just hard to make a substitution. But as a second team quarterback, you kind of live your Life in a state of readiness. You're, you're, you're ready to be a starter, but you sometimes you don't even get in the game. It's a very difficult place to be, and he's kept just a tremendous attitude the whole time. And and when he has got a chance to play, he's he's played well. Mark, did you see Aaron in halftime? Yeah, I did. He just was, he just was, you know, just sad. Um, and. Uh, Family came in to see him, and uh, you know, I left the room at that point. It's about time to address the team anyway, but uh, just spent some time with him, and because uh, you just you know you, you uh, your mind starts racing and all that kind of thing during that time frame, or and uh, but he just you know he just wanted to play, wanted to keep playing, and uh, was not able to. In the context of the season, or is any part of you thinking, of course. Well, I didn't say that. Um, uh, he, he did mention because that's about how our season's been, how our season's gone, you know, as far as injuries and everything. And, but uh, it was it was tough. How hard was it to watch him know you get carried off that field as well? Uh, it, it's just sickening. I mean, I, I really had a hard time enjoying the rest of the game. I, I mean, there was a couple moments in there where I, you know, when. When he, Big Hugh caught the ball down the middle, I mean, that was a big deal. Hugh, Hugh Williams, uh, our backup tight end, and I knew the sideline would erupt if he caught a ball downfield like that. I mean, a guy used to play offensive line and move to tight end. And, and I mean, even in pregame warm-ups, you know, everybody's watching to see, you know, if we're going to complete the ball and everything. And to have him make a big catch like that, that was a great moment. And there were some other ones too, but uh, it just was hard to – have a lot of fun. Even right now, I'm, I'm glad we won, and I'm really proud of how we did. But it's kind of a crummy feeling right now when you think about uh, 
what Aaron's going through right now. Coach, along those lines, I mean, do you think with this win, a lot of frustration kind of taken out the, the way it all yeah. went out? I don't know. We just we played. Um, we just played with a lot of energy, and uh, you know, my my thing all week was to try to really uh, push the idea of playing your best game if you're a senior and then playing your best game for your senior teammates. And um, I thought it, I think everybody bought into that. And it's easy to sell when these guys are such a good bunch of guys. They, they were really good leaders for us. And even though the season was had certain expectations and then certain hopes got dashed along the way, um, the leadership was great. Um, the unity of our team was rock solid because of those guys. And, and I've said it a couple of times, they were, they were really, this was a fun team to coach, but I think it was mostly because of the seniors and, and how they led this year. Coach, um, leading up to this game, there was a lot of talk about how it might be tougher to bounce back after the way that Auburn win ended than y'all did. Looking ahead to Georgia Tech, is there any, do you think it'd be any harder to bounce back in this one? Or well, you just, uh, you know, the, I, I think it's good to have momentum going into that game. I think if you're, if your if the spirits of your team is down and, and you go play that game, it's it's a tough game uh, to win because it, the, the offense that they run, it's just kind of relentless in how they attack. I mean, they are attacking, and uh, if you're not into it, if your spirit's not into it, and you're not excited about playing that game, uh, it's it, you can really have a rough long day and uh, even if you are ready to play you can have a long day so uh, hopefully our guys will be in good spirits going into this week and we'll have a good week of practice knowing you don't have a diagnosis yet would you be would you be surprised if Aaron played yeah I think it'd be tough for him to play this week you know I wouldn't count out the bowl right this minute but um, it'd be tough I would think it'd be tough we'll see no I'll just say we'll see we'll see Yeah, I thought they played great. Our, our, you know, our first unit um, played very well. We had the one long run, which stinks. We uh, got a, had a guy out of, out of position, and and uh, you know it, it could have broke for maybe a five or six or seven yard run, and and uh, by not having somewhere they were supposed to be, it, it, they took it to the house. That was that was a shame. But uh, other than that, I thought we played very well on defense. Um, of course, we had the uh, turnover deep in our territory. They held it to a field goal. And I guess looking at it statistically, uh, in just over a couple hundred yards of offense. And uh, and then, you know, the last score, we had made a lot of substitutions at that point, uh, which was good. I mean, we got to get some other guys in the game, but I, I thought they did a good job. Staying with the defense, Josh Harvey Clemens, you know, obviously yeah. the way that game ended last Saturday and, and what he had to go through this week. How do you right. think? Uh, I, I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't. There was nothing to. Uh, well, I, I asked him if he learned anything. You know, he said yes, and I said what? He said bat the ball down. <laughs> you know, but um, but he wasn't the only guy I said that to. There's a lot of guys. You know that uh, I asked. You know what they learn because you, know, you got to learn from those things. But he he played really well. Uh, he he uh, uh, would he have two fumble recoveries? Or maybe uh, I know he had at least one or two forced fumbles, uh, but uh, made a lot of great tackles. Played played good ball. Coach, sticking with the defense, getting lost in the game, obviously with Aaron going down. They did play very well tonight, getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Is that uh, promising going into next week? Well, it is, but it's so different. It's so different. Uh, this offense we're about to play. Uh, you could have. Five great games in a row, ten great games in a row against different types of offensive systems. But then, if you play this one, you know you, you could get rolled up in a hurry. Um, you know, I know that uh, you know Georgia Southern runs the same thing, and and uh, I think it was a year or two ago. I think Bama might have had the number one run, rush defense in America, and they ran for over 300 yards against Bama. You know, and and uh, it's hard to. Uh, slow down a team 
that runs the ball that well. And uh, so, the, you know, the key to that game is, you know, getting some turnovers. The key to that game is scoring points yourself and, uh, and trying to make it as uncomfortable as possible. Try to get them out of their game plan uh, by putting points on the board. Um, because if, if they can stay with what they like to do, it could be really a long day. One more question, anybody? Okay. Thank you all.